and looking at the stock exchange as a country and we will lead from the front as government. We need to lay a moral foundation for how to drive our development. That we should reward and recognize and praise the dignity of labor, hard work, integrity, and professionalism. And we must do whatever it takes, individually and collectively, to dissuade and to refuse conmen, wheeler dealers, people who engage in shortcuts, and the corrupt. It is the only sure platform that will lead to the transformation of our country. I said collectively and individually. We must refuse to celebrate the people who cut corners, who take shortcuts, who engage in speculation and will are dealing. We must, as a country, and all of us, and as government, we have said, if you are a businessman that you want to legitimately engage government in business, you must not be part of the people who know that this transaction is wrong. This transaction does not give value for money to the taxpayer, and you become part of it. The public official that engages government procurement that exploits the taxpayer is as guilty as the businessman who participates in that transaction. And we need to set the benchmark. We need to set the foundation, the moral foundation for us to say no, for the business community to say no when they see a transaction that exploits government or the people of Kenya.